Hi everybody, I'm Pete Doctor. I'm a director at Pixar. I did um, Monsters, Inc., Up, Inside Out, and Soul, which we're hoping is going to come out in theaters uh, just a few months, November 20th. I was asked to come here and describe animation and uh, talk about flip books, and I'm here in my closet because there's some kids playing outside, and it's the only place I could find that's relatively quiet. So, um, what happened for me when I was a kid... Unlike the noisy kids outside, I uh, was a pretty quiet kid. I sat inside a lot, and somebody gave me a flip book. I don't know if you've seen these. They're like, basically, I made one uh, recently. I made a bunch when I was a kid, but my mom has all those. So this is one that I did in 2004. And you can see, basically, here's me under the mistletoe. And I'm waiting for a kiss from my wife. Oh, she walks right by. So then, oh, here come the kids. Oh, no kiss from them either. Yeah. Whoop, there comes the dog. And it's an introduction of our new dog, which we just got at that time, named Bailey. So, um, the cool thing about these are, though, is that it tells you can tell the whole story. You can get all sorts of cool movement, but basically it's just a bunch of pieces of paper. And each drawing is just a little different than the last one. And when you flip through them, it creates the illusion of movement. Now, the thing is, at Pixar, we make computer animated films, but it's the same idea. It's basically just that we use computers to help us to draw the pictures. Um, but each one of them, when you watch a movie, here's a little uh, flip book of Doug. Uh, there's Doug, and he's excited about getting the ball, and then Carl throws it. So it's basically the same idea here. Each image, there's 24 of them every second. It's just a little bit different than the last one. So it's a great way, if you're interested in animation, you can get going on this right at home without a lot of expensive equipment or electronics or anything. This is one uh, that my friend did when I gave him that flip book, and he, he just did this Thank you. And you can make your own. Either grab like a... Um, you know, um, one of these notepads from like a hotel. Oh, you know what actually works really well are those um, 3M um, post-it notes, the yellow, you know, that have the stick them on the top. You can flip through those, that works really nice. Or you can also just get one of these clips like this and a um, bunch of either note cards or just pieces of paper. And um, let's, I'm gonna make one for you right now. I'm just gonna use these blank pieces of paper I'm going to draw a little picture on each page, and then when we're done, we'll clip it together like that and see how it looks. Um, let's see, I'm going to move the camera. Okay, so uh, here I've just got all these pieces of paper, and uh, the nice thing is you can do a drawing. If you make a mistake on one, you can just get rid of it, so it works nicely. Um, I'm, the, the simplest thing would just be like a bouncing ball. So here we'll start with a ball. And what you want to do is kind of be able to imagine where that previous drawing is, because animation is really all about like the movement from one frame to the next. So here you can see it's kind of staying in the same place. I'm going to hang there for just a second. I'm going to go down just a little. Go to the next page. Now I'm going to have it stretch out a little bit because it's falling. And then smash, smash on the ground. Let's imagine the ground's about here. So it smushes. And then it's going to kind of come out of the smush. And then bounce back up. Into the air. Although maybe not quite as high as it was before, we hope. So let's see how that looks. So you can you can see very simple boring ball bounce boring boring so let's try something a little bit more complicated although still i don't want it to get too complicated because you have to draw a ton of these drawings so okay let's do uh, something slightly more complex this time let's um start with a person standing here and uh it's gonna be nice and simple because we're gonna draw a lot of these. We're gonna spend a lot of time drawing each each image because there's gonna to be tons of these. 
Um, and then what I think I'm going to do is have the character jump that way. So to go that way, I first have to go the reverse. So well, that's what we call anticipation. So if you try this yourself, like if you're going to jump that direction, you, what would you do first? You'd bend your knees, right? So let's, the next frame is going to be kind of bending the butt back a little and getting the knees bent slightly. Okay, and then we go further with that. Heads down even further, the butt's back further, and the knees are bent even more. See, that's a really bad drawing, look at that, that's awful. But it doesn't matter, because you can throw it away and get another one. <laughs> and it doesn't matter anyway, because in animation, it's all about the movement. It's not about the individual drawings. They don't have to be really pretty. They can be pretty sloppy, um, at least to start out with. And then maybe you go back and make them look nicer later. But, okay, so now here, you can see already, this character is starting to bend down. Let's go even a little further with that. So push it, push the extreme. And now he's really she, I don't, know, I don't know if this is a boy or a girl, it doesn't really matter. Uh, he's really bending down to get a lot of anticipation so that we can really leap off. So then we're going to have, have him or her shoot out from where they were. You know, like that. And then... So that's going to be the maximum thrust. And then after that, we're going to kind of slow in just a little bit. You know, it doesn't travel quite as far, this frame. And the next frame. The body's kind of catching up. Maybe this leg stays back a little further. And that arm. Uh, okay. And the next frame. Let's say this knee is bending up nice, but this one we're gonna do kind of like a follow through. Like, let's see how that works. Oh, oops, I got two pieces of paper. Thing is, I'm not really sure where this is going. I didn't plan it out at all. Sometimes it's kind of fun. Um, you'll just see what what happens because you know you go from one frame to another and you're kind of like oh wait a minute let's say in this frame you know we can see this person didn't plan very well for their jump they're starting to twist and fall over and now legs are coming up this way let's say this arms are there and then and the legs are falling down. See, that arm should probably be about there. This barely looks like a person anymore, but hopefully you get the idea. Whoa! I forgot to add the face on those other ones, but I can come back and do that. And let's just say that's where the impact is, and then you go splat on the ground. Actually, we should have a little bit of the legs and arms kind of coiling off the, you know, and then landing. Now, normally, I'm just kind of doing this to show you how animation works, but normally you'd want to plan this out a little bit better so you have an idea of what it is you're doing. But let's see. Okay, so he jumps up, whoop, lands. I probably heard a, would have reworked that a little bit, but you get the idea. So from there, it's just a matter of making those drawings look a little better. Here, here's a, here's another a flip book that I did a couple of years ago. And I spent a little more time on these drawings, you can tell. So here's, a, this one is, we're putting our stockings up. There's my wife and my daughter, and there's my son with a giant stocking, and my daughter says, hey, what the? And he goes, what? Because I have giant feet. Uh -huh. So again, you can see it's just each drawing a little bit different than the last one. That's the trick, and that's how you make flip books. <laughs>